This is a Fool in the Rain video. I know I've done two other ones. Just a real, I'll try to make this real concise. So to play, start with one, whatever hand plays the high end. A one, a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, a two. So a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two. Here comes the hand on the head. Get one hand going. A one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two. And then do this. So we're breaking it down into its corners. I always talk about the corners when I talk about triplets. Well, you're isolating just... Like economics, you're holding things in a vacuum. You know, you're just isolating, just where, okay. So, a one, a two, add the, the way you'll count it, a one and a two and a three and a four and a one, or think of it that way. A one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a, okay. So just go, a one, a two, a three. Just like that. That's a good thing just to practice, is that over and over again, comfortably. Just keep, uh, keep going. Okay, and then eventually you can, then we'll add in something else. What we'll do now is we'll add in, we won't add in the yet. We'll, we'll go right to the bass drum. So let's go one, two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a two, and a, here comes the right hand. So this is it. This is like the chord. That is the core. It's not like the core. Okay? Yeah, now there comes the next note to add is that. A one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Three and a four and a one and a two and a three. Okay? But while keeping that right hand going, okay? This could be the next paradigm or corner or whatever the hell you want to call it. Just practice this over and over again. Just get into it. It's its own thing. Somebody might practice this by itself, turn it into a song and trip breaking the cash. Step and the bass drum notice the A uh, of four. A one. A one. Three. A one. Three. A one. Okay, so then here we can go. Jesus, sorry, these almond nuggets are firing out of my mouth. We can, you can go sort of a couple different ways. We could start adding more bass drum and keep this constant. Or we could add the bark here and then go back and start adding bass. Let's just stick with the bass drum for now. Okay? Uh, sorry. We'll add, there is a snare note, I'm sorry, a bass drum note, where it goes, a one, so a one and a two and a three, real slow, a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two, sorry, a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two, okay? Okay, there's that extra bass drum note. This one, you'd, I wouldn't even really worry about until we start getting the bark in there. Because you'll get the same effect if you had the bark. So, but anyway, so still, what we're going to do now, there's one more bass drum note. A one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and four and a one and a two and a Okay, so if you put that together without the bark, that's just playing. So the groove here, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, and then add that bass drum. A one, a two, a three. Why I can't I can't talk and play at the same time? Uh, a one. Hi-hat bark, right? I'm putting my headphones back on because my ears are really getting funky, okay? So, uh, what we were doing, where's my other stick? Okay. Well, well the full. Okay, now 
dog, what we do is we bring in the hi-hat part, which is on the uh, one's uh, so one and, okay, one and, uh, one and, uh, one and, uh, two. Well, I mean, the close will be the two. One and, uh, two, okay? And that can be awkward a little, so just loop it. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, a uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, a uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. That's all done. One, uh, two. Now, no matter what, just force yourself to do that, because that really will, even without you thinking about it, force, <clears throat> you know, that accent to kind of, because to me it's kind of, it's, it's strangely counterintuitive or something, like it's, not counterintuitive, but it's just, if you really stop and get stuck, hung up on it, it's like, wait, that's a weird place for a hi-hat bar, like in a shuffle like that. Anyway, but again, <laughs> that's kind of how it goes. One, two, that's how it goes. One, two, three, four, one, two. So, that's just do your hands then. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, loop that. Remember, so what happens is my right hand's just going just to re review. But then add the grace notes. Uh, one, a two, and a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. A one. Remember those ands, those snare accents, ghost notes, are on the and, okay? Remember in triplet bill, it's one and, uh. So it's on the and of two, two and, uh, three and a four and, uh, okay? Two and, uh, two and, uh, three and, a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. And, okay? So without the uh I had mark. That's with it. One, a two, and a three, and a four, and a one. And a two, Just practice that, okay? Because it's great. You, you know, you got to isolate stuff. You know, you got to go to the corners or, as I call it, or, you know, isolate. Like in economics, you know, like I said, I mean, hold everything in a vacuum, get break it down to the small pieces and practice it. And here we go. And again, for me personally, I really have to play that hi-hat heel down to get it clean. Or I get it all dirty. Even in my instructional videos on it, it's it's real like, there's a weird like, like, like it doesn't line up. Again, with me, a heel down, it lines up. Okay, then we'll bring in the bass drum, okay? Remember from before, I was just doing before the, I was interrupted by the drum purchase person. And then just work on it right when you start. That, it's that uh right away. And just loop that part. That's a great loop. Again, the time, not isolating the um, limbs, but just essentially breaking up to two spots. See that? And again, for me, I gotta play heel up, but my left hand never quite nails that accent, that grace note right before the three. The Anna, that two for me personally. I see it every time I play it. Uh, sorry, you know, I was, I've been working on my purdy. Rosanna kind of shuffle, and I'm used to putting the grace note in every time. So, so I might be doing that accent soon. Right there. You can just loop that. So I'm going to get heel down. That's what you
what you do, okay? So break it down into a small globule. Right hand. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Bring in that snare on the three. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Okay? Bring in the bass drum. One, That's the core, all right? So, any questions, just go back and rewind. It's the magic of rewinding. Don't forget about my CD. <laughs> my CD, back in the 50s, we still have CDs. Terry Keating Greatest Hits. It, it, the, the name is like a joke. Like, obviously, I have all these greatest hits, right? It's all originals. One was on the radio. I don't know how many times I have to say that. It truly was. God bless Richard Milne, WXRT. But you can find these on eBay. I'm selling them. Okay, it's like seven bucks shipped, I think. Unless you're overseas, it's a little more. So buy one, I'd say I'll sign it for you. I'll say, hey, thanks so much. You know what I mean? Um, so I appreciate it. So um, again, the video shortly following, probably the next one, will be the drums in the big room. Okay, remember, the big room is in the studio. It's my living room. Okay, so I got to make sure it's everything's smooth. Plus, I got to put the heads on the final floor top. Thanks for watching. It's Friday. Have a good weekend. Um, thank you for subscribing. Um, Hope you had a good St. Patrick's Day. Uh, thank you. More videos soon.